Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be going over Commerce Cloud, what the basic functionalities of Commerce Cloud are, the use cases of Commerce Cloud, and different certifications, if there are any that you can get within Commerce Cloud. So one thing I do want to mention is that uh, this is a part of a bigger series that I'm doing going over all the clouds within Salesforce. So if you want to stick around for going over all that or check those all out, you can check those out on my channel. There's a playlist of them. So let's jump into what is Commerce Cloud. So Commerce Cloud um, is essentially an online shopping platform that's connected to Salesforce. Now, Salesforce really shines when all of its clouds are worked together. They call it Customer 360. Um, when all of the different clouds and the different pieces of Salesforce connect back together and you don't have to use a ton of different systems, which is actually really nice. You only have to hire a handful of IT professionals to keep the system running and to do projects on them. You don't have to have someone who specializes in one certain, one type of software and then have like five other people because you have so many pieces of software that all need maintenance on. Um, so that's really, really positive. Commerce Cloud. While there might be other products that are fairly similar, this one being connected to Salesforce is a major plus if you're already using a lot of the other features of Salesforce. So Commerce Cloud, think of Shopify or something similar to that or like Amazon where you're able to create um, a website and essentially host what products you're selling and then have all that information go into the back end of Salesforce. You can use that information for customized reporting. You can use that information to market to your customers. If you're using Marketing Cloud, you can do it for customer service. Essentially, it's just a shopping platform where you can uh, host your products, you can create a personalized shopping experience, you can do all those different types of things. Um, so let's jump into some of these core features that you would use with Commerce Cloud. So what Commerce Cloud does is you're able to host a lot of different products on the site with different languages and different customizable options. So let's say, um, let's take an example that I like to use. I live in an area that is very outdoorsy. So we use um, a store that's an outdoorsy one is often Cabela's where you have like different gear for different things. You can have gear for hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, all those different types of things. Um, what you could do is you could host those different products in their different variations. So let's like think of a tent, for example. You may have a type of tent that is a very special type of material that can wick water away, has like zippable mesh to keep out mosquitoes and other pests from getting to your sleeping area. You may have this tent um, and if the hallmark of it is the material that is used, you may have this tent in different customizable options. So you might have it in different colors, you might have it in uh, different sizes, you might have it with different types of posts to keep it in the ground, all those different types of things. And so you'd be able to host those different types of uh, customizational options on your website so then your customers are getting the right product. You can also use it for different currencies. So let's say you have the store ships to uh, um, the UK, the US, and maybe Canada. That's like three different currencies right there. If you have it in the Europe general area, you may have to have a few other currencies or just using the euro if that's possible for some. It also helps with making sure that sales tax is appropriately uh, portioned out based upon where they live. It can host multiple different languages so you know that you're reaching your customers with the right language. So then you can reach the most customers possible. You can have product management. So making sure that you have the right amount of product making sure that you're managing inventory well. So if you only have a certain amount of product that you're not overselling the product or that you, so that you specify that a certain product is on back order, you can manage pricing. So if you have uh, coupons or you have a particular sale that you're going to be running or if something's on clearance, you can signify that on the website as well. So most of the hallmarks that you would find on really any shopping platform, you can have AI personal recommendations for your customer. Now this is if you are using AI in your implementation of Commerce Cloud, so be mindful of that. It also has some omni-channel capabilities to where you can fulfill your orders across uh, multiple channels and making sure that your customers are getting their products. Now, again, this can coincide with other Salesforce products. So 
Uh, the main one I'm thinking of right now um, is possibly billing and marketing clouds for sure. If you're wanting to have an email chain sent out to your customers saying, hey, your order is being fulfilled, your order is being shipped, your order is out for delivery, your order is delivered, that kind of thing. That's possible if you are using Commerce Cloud in conjunction with other Salesforce tools. So let's talk a little bit about the use cases that you can use with Commerce Cloud. So one of the major use cases, of course, is going to be uh, B2C business. So business to customer business, like if you are selling clothing or camping gear, if you're selling um, fishing gear, if you're selling pajamas, if you're selling clothing, um, that's one of the major use cases that you'd be using Commerce Cloud for. You can also use this for business to business commerce. So one example I'm thinking of right now is places like Office Depot, Office Max, even Costco sometimes, they would be doing a business to business sale where um, let's say you have an office and it's like a professional office, possibly a dentist office or a doctor's office and you're looking to stock the, the break room with a certain type of food. I know in different companies that I worked for before, they have like free energy drinks for your customers. And so what you could do is you could have that order placed from that business to another business like Costco who are going to be selling that type of thing. You could also use this for like um, a PPE store. So like if your company sells let's say face masks or surgical gloves, you could use Commerce Cloud for that business to business where it's like the business that's selling this PPE, the personal protective equipment to the company, which is going to be like the hospital or the hospital system. You could have this be for a blend of in-store and online pickup. So an example here is grocery pickup. You could have it be for ordering something ahead to be able to be picked up or for delivery. Those are both options that can be used with Commerce Club and it can be used for international commerce where you're making sure that you're following all the compliance laws and the shipping laws and like going through customs and taxes and it can help simplify that process. So kind of wrapping up for our, this section, the benefits of using Commerce Cloud is that it connects back to Salesforce. Um, it's really customizable. It's very similar to uh, experiences cloud where it's like you're creating a website to hook back to Salesforce so you can use that information that you gather from the website portion of of your business and then hooking that back into Salesforce so you can use the other functionalities like um, billing, marketing cloud, sales cloud, service cloud, all those fun things. Those are going to be things that you want to use um, and that way you don't have to like import data, you don't have to do any of that into Salesforce. This is also really great because Salesforce, while it also owns Tableau, you can get a lot of really customizable uh, reporting out of it. So you're able to take all that information that you gather and put it and visualize it in a way to where you can make the best business decisions to where you can make the best business decisions based upon that. I know there's a ton of different ways that you can categorize information of, hey, what's the ROI on, on an email campaign based around this specific segment and how that actually translated into the ROI from the Commerce Cloud site. So that's taking like two or three different clouds of Salesforce. Or you could say, hey, based upon this product that we sell on Commerce Cloud, um, how many times are we having people reach out or what's the product that's having the most issues that customer support is coming back with? How can we improve that product to then have it be better for our customers? These are all the types of questions that you can answer when you have all your data in one place uh, and visualize it customizably. You visualize it how you need to to get the answers to your questions. So while there aren't like any certifications for Commerce Cloud, there are some certifications that you can get to show some knowledge in Commerce Cloud um, that are related to it. So the ones I always, always recommend these two, which is going to be the first, the associate certification to show your general knowledge of Salesforce. That one's really to show that you are a super user of Salesforce, that you know on not just like a basic level, a little bit step up level, what Salesforce does. Uh, then you get the admin certification, which is the administrator certification for Salesforce so that you know how to generally be an admin of Salesforce um, and some of the basic features and tenants that you need to know. Uh, then I would actually go towards looking at the Experiences Cloud consultant certification because Experience Cloud and Commerce Cloud are just so similar products. Um, it's just like, Experience Cloud with purchasing power on top of it. 
um, that could be really useful. And then there are some other ones. I haven't fully vetted these out, but you could get a B2C Commerce Architect certification and the B2C Commerce Developer certification. Now these are a little bit more of a stepped up certification. So you may wanna go down a different path. I really wish that Salesforce would release certifications for each of their clouds so then you can show specialty in that. It really helps in the consulting sphere so then you can understand which people to place on which pro products projects so then they can administer and create the solutions that the customer is looking for. I think that would be really great. But uh, with that being said, that's going to be Commerce Cloud. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the certification courses on Salesforce AppSkill, on Udemy Business, and LinkedIn Learning. Again, I hope that you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. Um, I'll try to get back to you, but I know everyone else in the Salesforce Emily community is very happy to answer questions too. So thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.